Hello, Barb, how are you feeling on this nice day? Oh, well, I have to travel all of the way downtown now to have them check my heart. Oh, that is right, you have a pacemaker now. Yes, and it kicked me five weeks ago when I was shopping with my friend. Not a lot of fun, let me tell you. It scared me. You mean that you felt the shock as it gave you a high defibrillation voltage? Yes. It is quite an ordeal that it put me through. Better being a cyborg than dying, though. Yes. They told me that I would have been dead if I didn't have the defibrillator. Do you have any details? Yes. The pacemaker was supposed to fire after 3 seconds but it waited 9.12 seconds before defibrillating me. Interesting that the microprocessor keeps track of everything in so much detail. Did they tell you why it waited the extra 6 seconds? No. But it turned out all right. Nice talking to you Barb. Glad you were okay. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A woman who is getting older has heart pacemaker now and it has already saved her life. This means that she will live long enough to receive artificial hips and knees and perhaps a brain implant to reverse the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. One more person living in the modern age and undergoing the slow transition toward being less human and more cyborg as the years go by. Does she like the transition? Not really but it is better than the alternative.